I joined the uh, DMM team, became editor-in-chief in 2013. It was really a, a good time to get on board because the idea of translating basic research into the clinics has really been taking hold. So we all understand now that for many of us the task is to get at disease and if we can connect our efforts, basic researchers, clinicians and so on, and all pull in the same direction, that would be far more effective. And I liked the fact that DMM has the job of creating that connection between basic and translational researchers. What distinguishes DMM from other journals is that we make a strong effort to educate basic researchers, sort of translational uh, biology 101. So we've created a lot of special topics, special issues. We talk a lot to pharmaceutical companies, venture capitalists. We've had venture capital people as uh, senior editors on our staff and they provided a great uh, viewpoint. So we're always looking to connect people and because we're a young journal, it gives us, it gives me the freedom to tinker and try new and innovative ways of helping the community connect with, uh, with translational research. So we have a great team of monitoring editors that we selected very carefully. They have expertises across the breadth of uh, disease uh, uh, research. And what we're looking for is not simply papers that introduce a new model, but what we're really looking for are papers that show impact that you can point to that paper and say, now I can see a way forward to develop therapeutics for patients. Those are the papers we really love at DMM. So there are many things brewing at DMM. We're always tinkering, and we are expanding our efforts to special issues. Uh, and what's magic about our uh, special issues is that we don't just simply publish papers on a particular topic. We gather thought leaders to write commentaries and reviews, and we actually continue to add papers across, across a two-year period from DMM that are relevant to that special issue. This is one-stop shopping. You can come to our journal, look at a particular topic you're interested in, and see organized in a sensible way uh, two years worth of papers that address the issues that you care about most. So there is a GSA meeting coming up. Uh, this is a great opportunity for DMM to step in and identify those researchers who are passionate about translational research. We have many of our uh, editors coming there. We have traveling scholars that we are uh, helping with travel funds to come there. We're identifying thought leaders and our goal is to bring everybody together and sit down and talk about the future of translational science. This of course is one of the main goals of DMM is to help facilitate these conversations. So we're very excited about that. Uh, as part of the company of biologists, we have access to workshops. So for example, we have one workshop, which I'm intimately involved in, called Rethinking Cancer. And in this case, cancer has been a very difficult problem to solve. Uh, it's been an all hands on deck. In the Rethinking Cancer workshop, we're going to bring together biologists cancer biologists, along with engineers, people who work on Wall Street, people who specialize in risk management and mathematicians, uh, people who are, um, are uh, in the biotech industry, not necessarily having to do with biology at all. And our idea is to bring lots of smart people together and rethink, uh, and rethink cancer. And this is the beauty of these workshops that's uh, funded by the COB, that's supported by DMM is that it gives us an opportunity to just sit down for several days in a beautiful setting and just talk about, without any constraints, talk about new approaches, integrative approaches to solving difficult disease problems.